What's up YouTube? It's your boy Big Bad Wolf here again with another video fishing for some more steelhead trout. Hope everybody's having a great day today and hope you all enjoy this video. And this is a great way to make money as well. Or if you just want to feed your character, say Arthur or John, this is a great way of doing it. And I just let that fish go by accident. If anyone's wondering where we're at, we're near the Dakota River, but we're fishing down by Bard's Crossing right now. Just on the side right here. What did we just catch here? Largemouth bass. Welcome back, Brian, my friend. We just caught five pound, nine ounce largemouth bass. Nice. Yeah, you can come. Even though it's steelhead I'm fishing for. <laughs> Hell man, a fish is a fish. There we go, a steelhead trout, a little beauty. Five pound, three ounces. Beautiful fish. I'm trying to remember the spot I was in earlier when I was catching a lot of sockeye salmon.
Mm-hmm. But some of the missions, they do have you as wanted, dead, or alive. It's weird. St. Denis. Yep. And we have got... Is it a, another steelhead? Yep, another steelhead trout. A five pound, nine ounce steelhead trout this time. Nice. Dude, the fish look amazing in this game. And like I was saying, dude, if you want to make your money back up, you can sell these for a fortune down in the butchers if you catch enough of them. And like I said, dude, when you get the chance, when that satchel does become available to you, I highly recommend picking that up. The Legends of the West, uh, Legends of the East or the West, I think it is. Highly recommend picking up that satchel, the one I'm using. Because you can carry so much stuff in it. Yeah, it's awesome, man. I'm going to be hitting up those legendary areas soon. You know the legendary fish areas? Here we go. I'm going to be hitting up those areas soon. Just want to make a bit of money first. And they give you such a fight, man. I love it. What is this, a bass or... Steel, no, a largemouth bass. We got a largemouth bass this time, man. <laughs> Five pound, one ounce. Largemouth bass. That's a keeper. That's a keeper right there. So what baits did you buy, dude, uh, on your way to Sadie Adler? Did you get the uh, crayfish? Nice, man. What lures did you get? Did you get the river lure, the swamp lure, the lake lure? Awesome, man. It's well worth it, dude. Another largemouth bass. <laughs> Ooh, that's a nice one. Five pound, fourteen ounce. That is a nice fish. You bought all you could buy. <laughs> Hey, dude, if you want to, man, you can feel free to share your voice so that way people won't think I'm bloody talking to myself. <laughs> you know how that is. Oh, shit. Dude, have you noticed the ducks in that that's in the, the lakes, too? Go to party settings, share audio. It should say for you, man.
That should give you the option from there. Shit. Yeah. Oh man, this one's got some color on it, dude. This five pound, I think it's five pound, ten ounce steelhead trout. This one's got a lot of coloration on it. Damn. Oh yeah. It's a nice fish. I know I hooked up on a big one earlier and I, I couldn't get him in. Did it break your line? Yeah, it kept breaking my line. <laughs> That's a pain when that happens, man. Oh, yeah. He had to be a big one, though. Oh, yeah. That happened to me when I first started doing it. I hooked onto a big one, and all of a sudden, it just broke my damn line. Because I, wa yeah, I, wa I, I wasn't Get used to the fishing. Like Now I've started uh, recognizing the patterns. Mm -hmm. Let them tire themselves out. Then when they stop mm -hmm. tiring themselves out, start reeling again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It works, man. It works, bro. Another largemouth bass. I should have named this video catching largemouth bass and steelhead trout. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, you're being too noisy. Shut up. <laughs> Dogs acting up again. <laughs> they just playing. <laughs> they vocal. They want to be heard, man. <laughs> I know where the legendary sockeye salmon is because it came up on my map earlier. And I think the sturgeon is over by St. Denis. At the back of St. Denis in that big... Uh, I think it's either a river or is it a lake? You know which one I'm on about, don't you? Yeah. Come on. Dude, this is how fishing planet should be. They should, they, if they could uh, figure out and learn something from Red Dead Redemption 2, they'd go a long way, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to talk bad about fishing planet. I still love it. But yeah, there's a lot they could learn from this game. And I prefer the real action on this, you know what I mean? This is it. You okay? Reach. Are you sure? One thing I will say about the story, though, dude, I have n I have not enjoyed a story on the PS4 game so much in a long time. Like I, I like I have this story. It's just yep. it's fantastic, man. I need someone to ride with me. From start to finish, it's been absolutely awesome. Rockstar have done themselves on this one. I just hope the online just is gonna be just as good, man. You know what they did to me and to my husband. And I hope, bro, they got fishing on there. 
So we can both go fishing, man. <laughs> That'll be badass, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Damn, I got a helper, Donna. Yep. You kind of do. Yep. <laughs> I'll tell you, I'll do it. Four this pound, one ounce. Sure. Oh, that one's a bit of a baby. We'll check that one back in. This whole thing is pretty much done. But Dutch still has let's, all let's cast out a little bit different. Cast out about that one. I mean, if we can get out of here with money, you and me, we ain't. Ooh, ghosts. None of that loyalty matters. Jesus. Come on. Okay. How much money? There you got yourself a gun. What's left of one? Thank you, Arthur. What's left of one? <laughs> dude, no matter what anybody says, dude, Arthur went out like a goddamn soldier, you know what I mean? Thanks, Arthur. Okay. The guy knew he was dying, but he gave it everything he had. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah he, hunted, he, did. he hunted out till the right till the very end. I loved playing as Offer, dude. Awesome character. I mean, I love playing as John, but playing as Offer, man, it was different. <laughs> and the amount of shit that he had to go through in his life. I mean, damn, dude, he had it hard. That's a nice one. Five pound, 13 ounce steelhead trout. I'll keep that one. I want for killing. <laughs> Hey. You see anything down there? Yeah, I think there's a bunch of them down there. I'm mostly drunk. Okay. Need to feed my horse in a minute. It's a big ranch. Lots of down, lots of folk there. Hey, let me get my guns out of my out of my shit first. <laughs> you want your guns first? <laughs> oh, it ain't gonna give me my guns. <laughs> Got to. Oh yeah. I was gonna say, man, you don't wanna start off with the crappy guns they give you. You need, you want your own. You know what I'm saying? What guns you rocking right now? Um, I got the uh, double action revolver. Nice. I got the uh, Mauser pistol. Oh yeah, now we're talking. The Lancaster repeater. Yep. And the boat action rifle. <clears throat> Some of them are my go-to guns. Well, Lancaster was my go-to gun until I got the Litchfield. I mean, I still got my Lancaster. But my go-to guns, semi-automatic pistol, secondary pistol, Mauser pistol, the Litchfield repeater, bolt-action rifle. They're my go-to guns. They're beastly, man. Uh, this bitch then went down there and got herself killed before I could even get my damn guns out. <laughs> Stupid woman. She's always in a hurry. <laughs> Where's that damn horse? Come here. Let's feed that horse real quick. Love this freaking horse, man. It's over now. 
I've had her all the way through the game. She's been amazing. I've got my war horse too, but he's in the st he's in the stable. Oh, you stupid bitch. What the hell did she run up there for? <laughs> that was stupid. She sees I'm throwing down shit. What was you throwing? Dynamite. Dynamite. looking good right now so I ain't got a feed in it. I tried to decide of his jaw out. <laughs> so now you're not just blowing heads off. You're you're shooting people in the jaw. Nice. So much freaking energy in them. Oh shit, where the hell did he come from? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened, bro? As soon as I walked in the barn door, I got shot. Ooh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Killing the O'Driscoll. Yeah. Yeah, that mission's fun. I miss hearing Arthur in my story. I love playing as John, but I do miss Offer. Nice. <laughs> 
you just... <laughs> what happened, buddy? She got me fucking killed. Why she keeps running up? Five pound one ounce large amount of bass. How many are we sitting on right now? Eight large mouth bass, sixteen steelhead trout. I did have 99 sockeye salmon, but I sold some of them to the butcher. Bat wings, where the hell did we get them? name a lot, don't you? Yeah. I like Sadie, though. I like Sadie Adler. The character's really good. People thought that was Bonnie McFarlane before the game came out. It's like it's completely the different, different people, man. Sorry. 
run, go, hurry up. Sadie's getting her ass whooped up here, I think. <laughs> she killed his ass, stabbed the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> you go, girl. <laughs> yeah. yeah she can be a good uh, good little help uh, at times crazy yeah. one I tell you something though dude they built her character as one crazy bitch but that that's mm -hmm. what I like about her it's always sweet on one another cause she went through a lot man as well if you think about it I miss him every day every moment Poor woman oh, lost her goddamn husband. To they took him from her. <laughs> but my memories of him, they still pure. Poor girl. I didn't know that. You know, you're confusing, ma'am, but you might just be the best friend I got, Arthur. <laughs> I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. We, uh, we should get away from her. You see what I'm saying though? Like sort of like feelings mm -hmm. for Arthur? Like mm -hmm. a like someone she could turn to, always be there. Yep. Yeah. What is it he has again? In it two was it TB? Tuberculosis? Yeah. That's yeah. right. I wanna get yourself cleaned up. I gotta get out of here, I'm wanted. Dead or alive, man. Yeah. Come on, horse. Come on. Five pound, 13 ounce largemouth bass. Man, these fish are. Uh, I just gotta leave awesome, there. Dude. You caught any largemouth bass yet? No. I thought you said you had a largemouth bass. You caught one while you was with I Dutch. I caught smallmouth. Yeah. Oh yeah, I did catch a largemouth. Wait, smallmouth? They got smallmouth in here too? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, I did catch a largemouth though. I do remember that. Because we were catching the, uh, what was it when we was with Dutch and um, Hosea? I'm trying to Trout. remember now. Trout. Yeah. It wasn't steelhead trout, was it? We were catching. It was a different no, trout. No, just regular trout. Yeah. Rainbow trout. Rainbow trout, that's it. Yeah. I must say, though, dude, the freaking coloration in the fish. Oh, my God. Freaking amazing. And the water, dude, is just phenomenal. Oh, 
sleep again. Sleep? Yeah, cook me something. Did you visit the butcher? Yeah. Four pound, five ounce. I'll keep it because it's not four. It's not under the four pound one. If you send the four pound one, I chuck them back in. Let them grow a bit more. I heard you were catching, um, what was it, pickerel and uh, bluegill earlier. Yeah. They can be fun little catches too. I think there's perch on you as well, man, but I ain't caught any yet. It's funny you and John struggle to bring in a fish. <laughs> Four pound five again. Four pound five ounce steel edge trout again. We'll keep him. I'll try casting out a different way. Cast over there. Yep. Hmm. Go to Eagle Flies. You gotta go to Eagle Flies? Yep. It's the only one I got left. For right this second. Don't you have Magnifico as well? Yeah. So you're gonna do Eagle Flies then probably Magnifico? Yeah. I gotcha. Well, which one's the closest one to you right now? Neither one of them, really. Oh, right, right in, right in consistency. Which one would be the easiest one for you to do? You're fine, steelhead, my friend. Damn, that's a beautiful freaking fish. I love eagle catching flies. Them. Eagle flies, probably do eagle flies in there. Yeah. Because it's right over here above Valentine's where I'm I, I'm down below Valentine's so it's closer. Yeah. Yeah, that's the closest one. Come on. There's a good channel I watch on YouTube, dude, uh, for fishing. It's um, something about the wilderness. I'll have to try and find the channel, man. You should check it out. The guy does some amazing fishing videos. <coughs> have you ever seen the... Yeah, I watch some videos. Have you ever seen the um, River Monsters? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good one, that. Have you seen the uh, British one with uh, Robson Green? The, when he done the yeah. fishing? Yeah, that's a great one too. I'm still waiting for him to put that back on TV, man. That was an awesome show. Because at the moment, all they've been showing is damn reruns. I 
And I'm still waiting for the newest episodes of Deadliest Catch. <sighs> My brother got me into that show, Deadliest Catch. I freaking love it now. It's hard watching it though without Phil, man. You remember Phil? Yeah. I miss he that died. guy. Yeah, I miss that guy. Yeah, he was good. I like Keith too, man. Keith's a good one. I know his sons. Uh, I know what is it? Um, Phil's sons are uh, running the ships now. Mm-hmm. They're doing a pretty good job too, man. Their dad would be proud. Dude, if I had the chance, I would love to go on, love to go with them on that. But, whew, man, they put their lives on that for for oh, the yeah. amount of crab they catch. I mean, those they get good money for it, though. Oh yeah, amazing money, man. But what an experience that would be, man. Catching king crab, that'd be badass. An amazing experience. I watch that Ice Road Truckers, too. I like that. Oh, yeah. That is awesome, man. I, dude, I, I have got to admit, there are a lot of things that that I'm used to, but if I if I had to do that, dude, I would literally shit bricks. I would literally shit bricks. That, that'd terrify me, because the, the conditions that they go out in, God damn. Oh, man. Here, that fucking ice crack while they driving over it. <laughs> I don't think I could do that shit. <laughs> yeah, especially the amount of weight that they have in those damn trucks, man. Shit. I'm like, damn, they're driving over fucking water. <laughs> One fuck up and they gone. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's where they have to put uh, oh, a lot been, of chain. There's been a few trucks went down. There has been, haven't there? Oh, yeah. You remember that one in season three? Mm -hmm. Holy shit, that was bad. Yeah, they some truckers lost their lives doing that shit. Oh, yeah, man. It's crazy, dude. That's another show that needs to start getting on, because... At the moment, I believe it's reruns, isn't it? Yeah. But it, one haul, man, and you get paid. Man, you get paid. Oh, yeah. You eating good that night. <laughs> oh, man, just one load, one haul across it, and you making over $100,000 easy. $100,000, God damn. That's money right there. Big fucking money, bro. Big money. Oh, yeah. See now, I know, we say it's big money, but it's terrifying as fuck to do what they do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I could do it. I have the license to drive them rigs. I mean, I would go just for the experience, but if I heard that ice cracking, I would probably be shitting it. <laughs> Because it's at that moment you probably just see your la your fucking life flash before your very eyes and shit. Have to ride with your door cracked open so you can hear the ice cracking. <laughs> <laughs> Be ready to jump. <laughs> oh yeah. It's either that or go down with the load. Yep. I'm jumping. Yep. Fuck that. Fuck, I ain't going down with no load. <laughs> or over there where they drive them damn trucks up the side of them mountains on them narrow ass roads, man. That, that is badass. Oh, yeah. But they're doing it in one of the hardest, I think, in my opinion, probably one of the hardest climates in the world in Alaska. I mean... Yeah, they are. 
It's insane, dude. Because obviously a lot of people that are living in Alaska, a lot of them are away from towns and stuff. So, But like, they can only do that that out of uh, three months out of the year is the only time they can do that. Shit. Because that's the only time it's cold enough for the ice to be solid for them to drive across it. Because if they did it any three other time, it would go year. through. Yep. Damn, dude. I remember they had the, that girl on there with blonde hair. I'm trying to think of her damn name. I know, she she, she drives on there too. She, yeah. And the funny thing is, she was driving a, better, a lot better than some of the damn guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's insane. I need to rewatch some of them, man. Because I got a lot of them, um, a lot of the uh, series sets on uh, Amazon Prime, so I can watch them anytime. I tell you what else I used to watch a lot of was um, Steve Irwin, the Crocodile, Crocodile Hunter man. That was an yeah. he was he he was nuts, man. I miss him every freaking day, that dude. Mm -hmm. Cause he used to have the holiday specials on as well at Christmas time. Oh yeah. That guy though, to to go through Stop. what he went through, and to be killed by all yeah. things, a stingray. Yeah, his uh, kid can do the th same thing he does though. That is true. That's true. I mean, his wife still got the zoo running and everything, man. Yeah. And their kid is amazing with them animals. Oh yeah, absolutely, man. She follows in her dad's footsteps. Oh yeah. It's incredible, man, to watch. Hell, I remember watching him go. What is it? Literally wrestling with a goddamn snake. Snake. Yeah. <laughs> He was crazy. He didn't give a damn. He did not give He'd a damn. He'd wrestle with anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I still watch reruns of that when they put it on. It's very rare, though, to see it on these days, isn't it? Yeah. A lot of the shit that's on today's goddamn that crappy reality shows. I'm like, who wants to watch that crap? Yeah, it ain't worth the shit. Yep. I tell you, another one I used to watch as well was Rex Hunt's fishing. That's what got me into fishing, watching fishing. Mm -hmm. You remember Rex Hunt? Yeah. Yeah, that was a good. That I grew was a good up watching. I, I I grew up watching uh, Roland Martin. I think my father watched Roland Martin. I never got the chance yeah, to see him. Yeah, he, he, he's real good. He does deep sea fishing and bass fishing. Is he still going? Oh, yeah. I'll have to check it out, man. What's it called? His son does His son does more fishing than him. It's just Roland Martin's fishing. Roland Martin's fishing. I'll have to look that up, man. <clears throat> his son does it as well, does he? Yeah. Damn, dude. I'll have to check that out. <clears throat> like I said, dude, I love anything we're fishing in. Yeah. Funny thing was, I never used to. I never used to. Until my brother yeah, and my him. dad got me into it. And, uh, Bill Dance. Bill Dance. I know Bill Dance. I've heard of Bill Dance. Yeah. He is, he's a nut. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think I've seen some of Bill Dance, uh, fishing vids. Come on. Ooh. They fighting. All I've pulled in right now is steelhead trout, uh, largemouth bass, just back to back, man. What we got here? This looks like another largemouth bass. Yep, five pound, two ounce largemouth yeah. bass. That's still a little ride to get over there. <laughs> Where'd you want to get to? Eagle flies? Yeah. 
<clears throat> nah, it'll be alright. It'll be dark by the time I get there. True that, buddy. What would you rather do it in dark or light? It don't matter with me. I'm the same way, man. If, if, if I gotta do that mission and I really want it out of the way with, don't matter what time. Yeah. Like when I killed the vampire yesterday and got his dagger. It, it always has to be at midnight in St. Denis. And it's in that little spot that I showed in the, my video from yesterday. And you'll get his dagger from him. It's funny because I got killed the first time. I went back there again, so I camped, camped, went back there the second time. I had my gun this time, so I blasted the shit out of him. <laughs> the thing is, he stabs you once with the, the, this dagger. He stabs you once with his dagger and you're dead. So when you do it, dude, don't do what I did. Go in without your guns. <laughs> <laughs> Because I pulled out my knife thinking, oh yeah, I'm going to use my knife on him. Nope. Man, the scenery in here is just amazing. Oh yeah. I agree with you, man. Nope, that's a four pound steel here. We'll chuck him back in. That's a bit of a small one. Let's switch. Switch. Dude, I could do this for hours, man, just fishing on here. It's freaking relaxing as hell. And plus, with the shit I got going on in my life right now, it takes my mind off it, you know what I mean? It's a great way to pass the time. You know what I'm saying, bro? Brian, you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. You got someone shooting at you? No, I was shooting. <laughs> oh, by the way, did you get yourself your volcanic pistol? Yeah, I got it. That's a good ass gun, that is. That I call a hand cannon, because that thing is literally like just having a hand cannon in your hand. Awesome gun. Did you make your barrels longer on your guns too? Hey, move. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I did too, man. Gives it a lot more range. And the funny thing is, it, pa it gives it a little more power too, I believe. Because I did it with my Mauser and my uh, semi-automatic pistol. Made the barrels. Oh no, longer. I didn't buy the volcanic. I bought the Mauser. You bought the Mauser? Yeah. There, yeah, that's an amazing gun too. I highly recommend, man. When you do eventually beat it, though, get all the guns, man. Yeah, I'm working on it. I ain't got but a few more to get. A few more? Yeah. Next time I go to the store, I'll get the other one. What's that, the semi-automatic? Yeah. Yeah, those two are, believe me, man. Just straight speed. Have those two dual wielding. Nothing will stand in your way.
Oh hell, I'm going right through Valentine. Valentine. So I can stop at the gun store. little four pounder gave me quite a fight there but you're only four pound you're going back in the water what can I do for you I am mister you look like you've been on whiskey and your stew you know all right? <laughs> what do you say? You, mister you've been on whiskey no stew <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's what he said. That shit's hilarious, man. <laughs> yeah, I got the volcanic. Yeah, that thing's a beast. It's a shame I couldn't have two dual wielding of them. Because two volcanics. That'd be a, a mess on whoever's standing in front of it. <clears throat> uh huh. Go ahead. Four pounds, six ounces. I'll keep you. Damn, man, the scenery around deer is just freaking gorgeous. And the water, dude, it just sounds a lot more crisper. I mean, I love fishing planet dearly, but the water sounds more realistic in this. You know what I'm saying? Brian. Yeah. I said it sounds more realistic, the water in this. I don't know if you agree. Beautiful condition. Keep it up. Do you agree, man? Yeah. Good. Are you Are you doing your guns up? <laughs> yeah, I'm cleaning them. Nice, man. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. Beautiful condition. Keep it up. Why don't we enhance your gun? See how much more it can do. I already did. Slam it. Slam it. That's what we want. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. It doesn't hurt to stock up on ammo. You never know. Beautiful condition. Keep it up. <laughs> he I says that too much, don't he? <laughs> Four pounder. Keep treating Back that in like your own child. All right. Good on you. It doesn't hurt to stock up on ammo. You never know. He's right there, Good. dude. No trace of rust on that as far as I can see. Never. You yeah. can never have enough ammo. Keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. It's beautiful condition. Keep it up. I'd recommend loading up on extra ammo. You 
keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. It doesn't hurt to stock up on ammo. You never know. You want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving. I love that about this game. The personal engraving and stuff. It's awesome. I'd recommend loading up on extra ammo. Have you, uh, have you engraved any of your guns yet, man? One. Nice, man. Looks freaking badass, doesn't it? Yeah. I got all mine done up, man. Well worth it, too. They look freaking insanely good. Jacob Worth is a friend of mine. I admire him, but he's just about the worst poker player in all of Valentine. Come on now, stop fighting. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. Beautiful condition. Keep it up. You know what? Bet you you could use some rifling on this thing. <coughs> Four pound large mouth bass. Nope. And you go, buddy. Want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving. more bounty posters to go up, the more people flock to my shop. Plenty of reason for that in Valentine. Oh, he's right on that. Another four pound large mouth. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that as far as I can see. Sheriff Malloy and his boys know about my best deals, as you can imagine. Come on now. If you need anything, let me know. If it's that damn four pound one again. Oh, there we go. Four, four pound two ounces. He's lucky he's not four. He's not. He's lucky he's not four pound one. Otherwise, he would have gone back. <laughs> you keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. Come on now.
What are you getting done, dude? Customizing my guns. Nice, man. I hope they add the buffalo rifle down the line. I miss that gun. Remember that from Red Dead Redemption, the first one? Yeah. That thing was freaking so awesome. Well, blunderbuss to a bounty hunter last week. <laughs> yeah, they had the blunderbuss on you as well, didn't they? Speaking of that. Do you remember that? Yeah. They had the blunderbuss on there on, um... I think it was, yeah, they had it on uh, the first Red Dead. Back in you go, boy. Maybe, yeah. maybe yeah, Rockstar will add them into the, the game down the line. Beautiful condition. Keep it up. With Rockstar, anything's possible. I'd really like to go home now. Make your way to the door, please. No. <laughs> I ain't letting you. I'm going back in for something else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking with him. No. No Damn, it broke my line. That must have been a biggie. I messed up there. Let's try that again. I messed up there. If it weren't for all the bounties running around New Hanover, I'd be out of business. Here. I think you should take one. Nope, four pounder. Back in you go. Yes, this is the one. <clears throat> you know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers, parts, back here. Come on. Come on, girl. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. Remembered I put my pistol down as a bid in poker the other night. I can't recall who won that though. Damn. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of action by you. Do not and will not ever do arms business with no gang. It doesn't hurt to stock up on ammo. You never know. I'm looking forward to testing this out. Thanks, partner. Get 
Come on now. About the Lynchfield. Bought the Lynchfield. Good gun, man. Yeah. Good and good I made it gold. <laughs> You're like me, man. Gold is the color. I got a, a few of my guns gold. My pistols. Well, one of my pistols is silver. But I got two of them that's gold. The double action. That's the only one you can't yeah. have gold, isn't it? Yeah. I'm okay with. Might as well make the guns look good. Oh yeah. Absolutely. I'm even going. I'll do them all when I get you know through with the story mode. Oh yeah. Then I'll do every one of them because I started running low on money. Oh yeah, it does eat your money. But I, I got plenty of provisions and I got plenty of ammo, plenty of guns, so I'm set for a little while. That's good, man. I can make enough money back. Oh yeah. But that Lynchfield looks good. Especially with the carving on it. Yeah, the Lynchfield's a freaking I done, beast. I done the carving on it and then the inner section of the carvings I done in black. Nice, man. To make it stand out. Yeah, the Lynchfield's one of my favorite guns. I love it. Yeah, with the etching on it and all, it looks good. Oh, yeah. Definitely. <clears throat> I bought the high dollar of everything on it. I went all out on it. The only thing I didn't do is put a scope on it. I don't like the scope. I'd rather use it without the scope. See, now that's where I'm different. I got the scopes on mine. Uh, I'd rather use it without the scope. I do sometimes. If I get bored of the scope, I I'll take two, it off. I got two sniper rifles, so they're good enough for me. I got free. I got the legendary rolling block, the normal rolling block, and the Kakano. Uh, you didn't pick up the legendary, did you? No, the rare, I mean. I hadn't seen it. Well, unless you haven't done the mission yet for it. Yeah, I don't think I've done the mission. It's pretty much the pretty much the same as the normal rolling block. It's just a lot different. There's a lot of markings on it that are not on the normal one. Yeah. <laughs> you crazy horse. Yeah, for my pistol setup, I got the double action revolver set on one side, and I got the Mauser on the other side. See, that's where I'm different. I got the uh, semi-automatic pistol and the, the Mauser. I got the Volcanic on there now and the Mauser. Ooh, nice, man.
So that's a good setup there. Them's two strong guns. Oh yeah. And the semi-automatic pistol. That's a strong one too. Yeah. Fast. Speaking of pistols, do you remember Red Dead Redemption, the first one? The high power pistol? Yeah. Yeah. That's one I'd love to see on here too. That thing was freaking awesome. They have one similar to that. It, it, it's like the Mauser. And I, I use that one mostly. Mm. You'll, love, you'll love the revolvers you can pick up as well. Like, I've got the Otis Miller revolver. I've got Midnight's pistol. I've got Flaco's pistol. I've got Granger's revolver. I've got Algernon's. They're, they're, they're like uh, special weapons. You'll get them eventually. Otis yeah. Miller's you'll find. It's uh, in um, Rattlesnake, somewhere near Armadillo. You go inside a cave, his chest will be there. It's the Otis Miller revolver it is. Beautiful gun. So good of you to join us. What's going on? Rebellion. The smeller. Yeah. <clears throat> Please don't be another four pounder. Oh, four pound five. There we go. Ah, let me run and check on these clothes real quick. Hi, right, buddy.
I'm back. Welcome back, buddy. Fortnite and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are you all doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? Sing our fact. It surely is. Whatever it is, it's your plan. It ain't a good idea. They want you fat. Nobody will be killed. We're just gonna trap a few of them in the valley, disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for Frank? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. Besides, it's perfect. People will see these boys. They won't notice them, and they'll think we're gone. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem, and we'll disappear up the river. But first, we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. So, you're using it? No, sir. No. Never. But, it is mutually beneficial to draw attention to one problem and avail over another. These are good people, but their situation is real complex. We ain't helping. Sure we are. Come on, let's get this done. <clears throat> what mission are you doing now? Uh, the one in the canyon. Oh, Eagle Falls. Eagle Flies, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, 
Dynamite, you run the water. Well, just look out. Come up here. Come on, Dynamite. Come on, Dynamite. Come on, Dynamite. Come on, Dynamite. Dude, I'm getting a fish nearly every cast. It's insane, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's freaking amazing. I love it. Hurry, I think I see some movement in the distance. Just going to give them a bit of a scare. Yeah. There they are. Looks like <laughs> a bit of a scare. Time. It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old fashioned humiliation. Yeah, whatever you say, Dutch. Whatever you say, partner. Everyone just stay calm. I'm going to have to kill them all. I ain't telling you, you're going to have to find out, brother. Fools, you see, I'm one regiment of 
Off is right though, what he's saying. It's done now. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You're fighting the army, ain't you? Yeah. Yes. <coughs> come on, come on. Get in here. These the problem. Oh, kids. Keep looking. Dutch's damn fault, you know what I'm saying? For egging the boy on, telling him what to do. Yeah.
What happened, bro? They ran up on me. Shit. Damn, man. Broke my damn Arthur's money. fault. Whose fault? Or, I mean, uh, it, it was uh, Dutch's fault. What'd he do? Plus, I fucked up, too. Fucking in, you stupid ass motherfucker. What did he do? Ran us in a dead end. Now we gotta fight it out. No, I ain't. You always got a plan, Dutch. Officer! Keep your hands up and come here. Put your hands up. Low cap. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. I ain't surrendering. We can't do this. Come Why'd they shoot us? what I gotta do? Surrender, I think. Really? It's part of a plan, I think. Because when we back up, they shoot us. Can you shoot them? I don't know. No. We're going to have to surrender. Yeah. Is that what you did? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, no, you can't escape. Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh, we can't do that. I surrendered, but I'm backing up anyway. Yeah, keep backing up. Good men they, they were good men. You're fighting nature. Because you jump off the cliff, I believe. Yeah. That's my friend. Here. <laughs> my whole life, I tried to fight change. It's a waste. I see that. Now, it's a waste. Can't fight nature, Captain. Can't fight change. No. <laughs> He's a crazy motherfucker, isn't he? <laughs> now, how's that for the damn ride, Brian? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the hell of a ride. <laughs> Must have been taken. 
We get our guns back. So, yep. Uh, we'll send. You're going to lose him, huh? Uh -uh. I'll go tell him. <laughs> you rest up. Then go meet him up at the reservation. We are going to make it, brother. I can feel it. Faith Arthur. Have faith. Because you got to have faith, faith, faith. <laughs> uh -huh. Come on. I don't know him. What happened, man? Uh, somebody sent me a party invitation, but I ain't. I ain't accepting it. Who is it? I don't know. Do you get that sometimes from random people? Yeah. Yeah, some of the peeps I get party invites from, I'm like, I don't even know you. You're not even one of my friends list. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, take the hint. Fuck I off. think there's a guy on the fishing <laughs> planet that uh, I, I gave some advice to. Was that? Yeah, I think it's somebody I gave some advice to on Fishing Planet. That's cool, man. Yeah, I met a lot of great people from Fishing Planet. Including you. And they're all awesome people. Like I said, man, when it came to a friendly community, Fishing Planet has been some of the best I've ever been a part of. Incredible, man. Yeah. I can. I think it's just gonna get better once those new leaks are out. It's gonna get a lot better, man. I think we got a while to go for that, though. But I'm good right now. I got this. This fishing keeping me going. <laughs> and we got a lot of lakes on here, buddy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Big ones too, man. Okay, girl. Lakes, yeah, rivers, ponds, you name it, we got it in this. Yeah. Swamps. It's got it all. I think it's got the sea too, because I found a Easter egg for um, a letter that was for Bonnie McFarlane. I think this guy was a, 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 her um, boyfriend at one point. He had a letter on his body, and it was uh, to my dearest Bonnie. Yeah. It referenced Miss McFarlane from the first game. I mean, you can find her ranch. Her ranch is on you, but you don't see her or her father from the first game. But their ranch is there. And Armadillo. Armadillo, though, is like a freaking ghost town, man. Did I really just throw that back in? What the hell am I doing? I went a full pound? God damn it. Damn. Yeah, I still wonder why they didn't put steelhead trout on fishing planet. That's weird. They got nearly every other trout, but they ain't got 
steelhead trout. I mean, they got lake trout, golden trout, rainbow trout. Brown trout. Brown trout, yeah. It's crazy, man. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Cause you can still catch steelhead. I know they got normal steelhead on there, but I don't think they're the trout, are they? Alright, man. Come on. Move a bass this time. Five pounds, six ounce largemouth bass. You're coming with me. If you guys like fishing planet vids as well, be sure to give out, um, give my friend the, the underscore gamer underscore guy underscore Matt a follow on uh, Twitch. He, he streams a lot of fishing planet as well as other games. Also, be sure to check out Phil Cool Twenty One. He's another awesome uh, friend of mine who does fishing planet. And ch also check out the check out Dragons Brigade on a. Uh, Twitch, he's another awesome streamer. And there's another one as well. Check out Old Willow Scrub. He's an awesome uh, streamer too. And if you are enjoying the content, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and hit the like on the video. It'll be, it's greatly appreciated, guys. And gals, I really appreciate it. And I will return the favor with likes on your channels as well. Come on now. Oh, we got some action here. Come on. What is this? A trout? Or is it a bass? Oh, it's a bass. A five pound, 15 ounce largemouth bass. You're coming with me? <clears throat> Lovely fish. Come on.
five pound one ounce steelhead trout <clears throat> lovely Come on. Oh, full pounder. Back in you go, little one. pound three ounce largemouth bass Come on now. Stop making it difficult on yourself. Nope. Back in you go.
That's a nice little fish. Good girl. We're getting there, aren't we? Hang in there, girl. There you, there you go. go. Lovely little steelhead.
Hey, Brian, you back yet, bro? <clears throat> Man, look at the action on this lake, guys and girls. If you get the chance, look at this. They're just swimming everywhere. It's freaking amazing. Look at this though. So damn crisp you can see them everywhere. Freaking fantastic. There we go. Another bass.
think we're gonna have one more one maybe two more casts and then we're gonna call it Yeah, we're gonna have one more cast, and we're gonna call it a night, or a day, depending on where you're at. But whatever you guys are at, I hope you, everyone's having a fantastic day today. set camp I'm gonna cook one of these bad boys Okay, YouTube. <clears throat> thanks for joining, guys, and thanks for joining, guys and girls. And I hope you enjoy the video. There'll be more content coming soon from Red Dead Redemption 2. I hope you all have a fantastic day or night, whatever you're at. Like I said earlier, and uh, keep it real, guys. Peace. <laughs>